The first US mission to put a lander on the moon in 50 years has been hit by a technical problem which could scupper the mission. The Peregrine Mission 1 aims to become the first US spacecraft to land on the moon's surface since Apollo 17 in 1972. But the private company behind the launch says the craft has suffered an anomaly, which experts are now trying to sort out. And liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket. The launch was textbook, lifting American dreams of returning to the moon with a private company, not NASA, at the controls. But several hours into its journey, the space startup Astrobotic signaled that the spacecraft was unable to point its solar panels at the sun, and without power, the mission was in jeopardy. In a statement, it said the team believes that the likely cause of the unstable sun pointing is a propulsion anomaly that, if proven true, threatens the ability of the spacecraft to soft land on the moon. If the anomaly can be corrected, this could go on to be the first commercial lunar landing. It's being done on a shoestring, but NASA said it was confident that bringing in private companies would drive innovation. Private rocket companies have already made it far cheaper and easier to put satellites in orbit. NASA now hopes that involving commercial enterprises will lead to the same revolution for lunar exploration. The UK's Open University helped build one of five NASA experiments on board, an instrument for studying water molecules in the moon's incredibly thin atmosphere. A commercial mission has brought a new way of working. There is a greater appetite for risk and that allows us to be more agile, to do things more quickly, to um, develop systems which are more adventurous, more bold, because there's an understanding that that's what we're doing. Let's go to the moon. But the science experiments are being carried alongside more controversial cargo, including a marketing stunt by the manufacturer of a sports drink and a capsule containing cremated human remains, a payload that has angered indigenous Americans who regard the moon as sacred. NASA is not responsible, but it's awkward. Historically, there has been political pressure on them to democratize access to space. But again, there's this underside then that I think you need to think about in terms of whether or not we're com comfortable with advertising being done on the moon, issues around sustainability. Engineers have tried to improvise a fix, but don't know yet whether it's worked. In the year that NASA hopes to send astronauts to loop around the moon, this underlines the peril of space travel. Thomas Moore, Sky News.